What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. We got part fear of most feared. It's live right now in today's video. We're going to show you how to redeem those jack-o'-lantern packs and also how to upgrade your free 89 overall spirit player. Now if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Shows a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here, you're searching on YouTube for what 24 content whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team, you found the right channel for everything. Stay a while. Click that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos. Let's get right on into it. So the final drop for most spirit is live on Halloween. Obviously, we got more promos to look forward to this upcoming Thursday, the All Madden promo. And then we're going to be in the month of November. The Harvest promos on the way. Zero chill in December. A lot of good content on the way. For the most part, most feared was super underwhelming. Part three was really good. We got some decent cards today. No new solo challenges, but you can get your 89 overall spirit player for free. You actually could have done this pa this past Thursday, uh, but it's been revealed on who that player is so we're going to show you that player in a moment if you have no idea what i'm talking about or you don't know how to earn this free 89 overall player you want to play through the most feared solos i've done these on my no money spent account haven't done them on the main account just yet but basically you play through all of the solos you beat all of the solos you're going to earn these spirit letters that you can take and redeem them in a set. The set's going to give you an upgrade token. So basically through the three sequences here, you're going to get three upgrade tokens. And if you max out all the stars on all three of those sequences, you're going to get a fourth upgrade token at tier three, which is 120 stars. You're going to take those four upgrade tokens and take that spirit player from an 82 to an 89 overall. And again, that can all be done for free. If you missed GMM this morning, they revealed who that player is. And it's actually not a real NFL player. At least I don't think he ever played in the NFL. He comes from a commercial. So it's office linebacker Terry Tate. Really funny commercial. If you never saw it back in the day, go on YouTube, search for it. Uh, he can go all the way up to an 89 overall. And I know a lot of people get hung up on names. I could care less. I think it's kind of funny that they actually put him in the game. But I also don't care who it is, as long as it's not a cowboy player, if the attributes are good. And the card is really, really good all the way up to a 90, a 89 overall. So again, once you earn those collectibles from the solos and completing those sets with the spirit letters, you're going to place those upgrade collectibles in the upgrade path within his card here and all the way up to an 89 overall. He's going to get to 88 speed. He also has 87 block shed, 90 power move. And if you take a look at his physical attributes, he is six foot six. But not only that, they confirmed on GMM this morning, he can get lurk artist for one AP. Now he's not your ideal user user linebacker because he's more of a run stopper and power rusher but six foot six with lurk artist for one ap could be a lot of fun to play with and i can't stress it enough it's a free card at the end of the day so who cares who cares who the name is on the card if it's a good card and a usable card and a free card i think we should all be happy about that let's take a look at item sets now for a couple different reasons number one before i go on a rant here this is where you would place those spirit letters to get those upgrade collectibles to upgrade that Terry Tate card. Now let's talk about the mystery jack-o'-lantern. So there was a pack in the store, and I believe it was 1,000 treats. You could open it up 10 times, and you would get this jack-o'-lantern collectible. And we all knew that these would be able to be exchanged for a random pack. And that was a really cool feature and idea, and I talked about it a lot of times in a lot of videos, that I think that was the number one place that you should spend those treats. Well, we get the game update, the content's out, and if you take a look at the set, it requires two collectibles to get one free pack, which is really, really stupid and just a bad move by EA. So we were probably all assuming we were going to get 10 free packs if we spent, you know, the, the, the thousand or 10,000, I should say, treats on the 10 collectibles. But now people who have a odd number of these treats or these jack-o'-lantern collectibles are now going to have one extra. And I don't know if they have a quick sell of value. You guys would have to let me know there. But not only that, this one makes me laugh even more. It says that this set is repeatable up to 10 times, but the maximum amount of collectibles you could earn was 10, and you need two collectibles to complete the set once. So it's impossible to do this 10 times, unless there were collectibles within some type of pack offers maybe that I missed, excuse me if I did, 
but none of it makes sense to me. It's a big failure on EA's part to do this, and maybe there's going to be make rights, or maybe this is a mistake with the repeatable up to 10 times thing. I'm not guaranteeing that's going to happen, but if you guys were unaware exactly what's going on with these, again, you're going to place the collectibles into the set, and then in return, you're going to get a mystery pack. I got all 10 of them on this account. Let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm going to probably open up the rest of them on Twitch stream later tonight, but we will do one here for video purposes just to see if we can get lucky or see exactly what we get. It gives us the mystery pack here. I don't know if this is going to load into now another pack. That's my guess. Yes, it's a Legends pack. Good thing about this is that counts basically as two packs for our counter and mutt rewards. And remember, the goal is to get to a 1,000 packs. You don't have to spend money to do that. It's going to take a little bit longer, but I think that counts towards two there. So that can add up over a long period of time. Uh, so we did get a Legend pack. Not too bad there. 81, 82, and 84. And that's all for free. So again, the thought, the idea of this entire thing was Super W. Free packs are cool. It's a fun feature. It's, you know, Halloween themed, but it's just really stupid and dumb of EA to require two collectibles to open up one pack. So along with everything else, we got four new cards, two LTDs and two Mosphere Champions. It's going to be Elvin Kamara and Night Train Lane for the two non-LTD set requirements are as follows. Just like all of the other most feared cards, not the Arcana cards, just the most feared cards, you can put any 587 or 88s into the set in return. You're going to get that 90 overall. Night Train and Kamara look pretty good. Let's go over to the catalog to show you all of the cards that came out today. First up, we have Kamara with 91 speed, 90 acceleration, 85 catch, I'm going to safely assume he's going to get Running Back Apprentice, and it looks like it will be. Uh, so this looks like a card that's kind of right up my play style here. Now, keep in mind, tomorrow we're going to get Angry Runs, Jameer Gibbs, which could look similar, could definitely have, you know, good route running, good catching, 91 speed. So the key here is to not to overspend on cards. If you had the 87s you need to build this already, go for it. But we have Team of the Week coming tomorrow and then All Madden, which will likely jump up to 91 OVR cards uh, coming on Thursday. So again, don't overspend on these cards. The other one is going to be not very good for you if you run a lot of zone coverage with Night Train Lane, if I can find them anywhere here. But if you're like me and you run a lot of man coverage, this card is up for you or good for you. It's the fastest DB in the game. Might even be the fastest card in the game now with 92 speed and 92 man coverage. Press isn't very good at 84. Again, zone coverage 85, six foot one. He's usually really good in stopping the run and has good hit power and tackle and block shed, things like that. So those are the two non-LTD cards. The two LTDs are going to be Arcana themed here, and the first one is Garrett Wilson. So we have another 91 speed wide receiver in the game. It's caused Justin Jefferson to go down just a little bit in price. And then if you take a look at like OBJ and Jamar Chase, two other cards that are definitely dropping rapidly, but you can still get that 91 speed from them. So uh, Garrett Wilson and Justin Jefferson, the most expensive receivers in the game. Those other two 91 speed guys starting to become kind of good budget options for you. And the the other LTD, if I can find him here, is another outside linebacker. We've got way too many of these from this promo as well. It's going to be Bradley Chubb, 90 overall. He's got like 89 speed, and I think finesse move and power move are both in the 90s. I guess I can check instead of just guessing here since it's all right in front of us. Uh, 91 strength, 91 excel, 89 speed, 91 finesse move, 91 block shed. So this is actually a pretty good card. Well, we've had an overload at this position or at outside linebacker from this promo, so it's it's going to be crucial to pay attention to the pricing on this one. I don't think he'll get some rental prices, but if he's in like the higher 400k, mid 400k range, it actually might not be a bad pickup. Uh, so those are the four brand new cards that came out today. And of course, with new content is usually going to come new pack offers. First up, we have a stellar champion pack. So this one's for $50. So you're going to get your choice of one of two release 490 most feared champions and then 387 most feared players. This one actually isn't terrible. Now, I don't know if that means the LTDs are potentially in this pack because it doesn't say anything about Arcana cards. It just says most feared. But this pack basically guarantees you Night Train Lane or Elvin Kamara. And then you do get 387 plus cards, which can be helped to build out any of those set players that you might be looking for. So not terrible, but again, I'd pump the brakes on spending that much money on a pack right now with such a big promo upcoming on Thursday and 
and an increase in OVR. You have a $25 pack here, which might be more some of your speed and worth the risk here with two LTDs and packs. You get 12 83 plus most feared players. And then you have the big bundle, which I don't even want to cover this one because you should stay away from it. Even if you get the LTD out of this, don't be spending $100 on a promo that's basically coming to an end. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, there's the, no, that's the step offer from the previous content drop. I think that's really it. Now, um, let me make sure there's nothing in the store over here. Uh, just one other thing to point out. We have the treat store and obviously the jack-o'-lantern pack has expired because you can redeem those now, but you still have options to spend your treats on you can still earn treats up until thursday afternoon when the new promo the all madden promo drops you can still go out there and play the monster mayhem the online event to earn treats you can play the offline event i think it's called trick or treat or whatever so it's still not a bad idea to out get out there and start earning treats and if you have leftovers I think the move is the 83 plus pack for 1,800 treats, especially with two LTDs and packs for the next 48 hours. I'm going to continue to play and try to win a Super Bowl here. I keep losing in the playoffs. I beat somebody in their Super Bowl today and then lost my next game, unfortunately. But I'm going to continue to grind that event for the next two days and then uh, open up this pack with the remainder of the treats that I have. If you have leftovers after that, they will likely convert over to training. I don't know what the ratio is. But for now, that is the promo as a whole so some pretty good cards super disappointing with what they did with the jack-o'-lantern collectibles if something changes if it was a mistake i will follow up and we'll definitely keep you informed with any type of make rights or information on that and you still have an opportunity to go out and earn treats hold on the spending save your coins save your money save your training wait for the all madden promo on thursday when we're likely going to get some really good cards but focus on earning treats and opening up this pack for the next couple days and we're out of here thank you for watching my name is popular stranger i'm out peace